Long before it was used by ninjas or turtles or mutants or a combination of the three, the word cowabunga was supposedly what surfers yelled as they rode a radical, gnarly wave. But sadly, only people near the ocean could get away with using the word, because, you know, only oceans have truly radical waves. Well, now the cries of cowabunga could harsh the mellow of a river or lake near you. Here's our surfer boy, Adam Yamaguchi, to explain and hopefully to translate. If you're an adrenaline junkie, you might love surfing big waves. And in the winter, you probably love snowboarding just as much. But what if you took the boards from each of those sports, morphed them into one, and put a go-kart engine inside of it? Sound crazy? Well, it's not. Say hello to motorized surfing, a hybrid of surfing, snowboarding, and motocross racing. It's the brainchild of Martin Sula of the Czech Republic, who spent over a decade perfecting the motorized board he calls jet surf. Motorized surfing is different compared to surfing. It's a totally new sport. Martin engineered his board so you can surf ocean waves, flat water, or tight turns on a race course. I jetted my way to the idyllic water playground of Sag Harbor, New York to meet Martin and maybe try out the jet surf myself. So this looks like a regular surfboard. This one is the first motorized surfboard in the world. You can see here inside the engine. Oh, wow. Here is throttle. Here is the fuel tank, which okay. is enough for 30 kilometers riding. We can go with this board from French to the England. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing that you were able to get an engine crammed into such a thin shell here. Martin's patented jet pump engine uses water for propulsion, delivering up to 17 horsepower and speeds up to 37 miles per hour. His engineering challenge was sending air to the embedded motor for combustion, while keeping salt water from destroying the board's mechanical parts and electronics. Martin chose a gas motor over a battery-powered system because batteries are too heavy and, more importantly, not allowed on airplanes. Martin's goal was to design jet surf so you could take it anywhere in the world. Its body is made of molded carbon fiber. So by using an entirely carbon fiber frame, you've been able to keep the weight down. Yes. How much does this weigh in total? 17 kilo. That's light. This is the key for motorized surfing. On such a beautiful day in Sag Harbor, it was time to give the jet surf a try. I let Martin go first to see how he got up on the board from a kneeling position. Once standing on his feet, he made it look effortless and fun. Then it was my turn. Okay, my learning curve was a little bit longer. But after a few tips, mainly using less throttle, I was up in about 15 minutes, and the ride was amazing. Jet surfing is now a full-fledged sport with pro-level races around the world. For me, I'm just happy jet surfing into the sunset. <laughs>